This is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day 21 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. I have, I'm going with a blackjack theme today. It's 21. And uh, I apologize for yesterday. I goofed up. So you got a picture, a photo, and that was it. If you missed seeing it, um, it is on my Facebook page. So what I did for today, the, the postcard itself is actually relatively plain. And I put down, I had put down a piece of book page as my base. And then I took a, uh, this was just a, actually it was just a pull off sheet that I used from it, from the jelly plate. Uh, and I decided to go ahead and use this as my background for today. I'm using black soot around my dice. These are hand-drawn dice. And I have discovered just how bad I am at drawing a straight line, that's for sure. When I went to cut them out, I was like, okay, you didn't really even get close on that those lines. But you notice I have a dice out here. It's because I couldn't remember which side the pips went on. I know that all dice have the same pips and the same dots, pips, in the same spot, but I just couldn't remember where they went. So I went and grabbed a die and said, okay, where do you guys belong? So using my black soot just to kind of put those together. So those are correct. Uh, let's see if I put the one there and the three there, the two is on top. And if I put the two, then the four is on top. So yeah, those are correctly placed. Now I do think I want to add um, a little bit. These are just regular playing cards. And I don't know how well the ink is going to take to these because they are glossy. I know I can rough them up with sandpaper, but I really kind of like the glossy look. I'm just trying to offset it a little bit. I don't really so much want to age them as I do just set them off from the background a little bit. So I don't know how well this is going to work. It may all come off on my fingers. But there we have a jack. And I have 21 which I will place shortly. All right, so let's go ahead and get these glued down. I'll glue my dice down first. I know I don't really need dice. I suppose it's a card game, not a dice game, but we're gambling today. So today we're, we've got a couple, of, and I couldn't find any pictures of dice. So I made my own. Being able to draw a 3D box is one of the very first things that I learned how to do. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put you... I'm double checking, making sure I have my right orientation. Yes. I'll put you over there. All right, now for the... Because these are glossy, I'm going to go ahead and use Fabri-Tac on the cards, the playing cards because I worry that any the, the glue stick just isn't going to do it. If you watched my video on how to uh, store, or how I store my laces, it's not, how I, you know, it's not the only way, in, certainly in the world, to store my laces, but these are the cards that I was using, I have used for my laces. I had some extras left in the deck, and I just happened to have an ace and a jack. Would have been better if I had the ace of spades, but I already used the ace of spades and something else. So we'll go with the ace of hearts and the blackjack because this is blackjack. We're going to win this game because we have blackjack. There we go. Now I might want to scoot those up just a little bit. That'll do. 
So I'll put my 21 down here. This is from a set that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree. So this is not by any means a fancy set, but they're nice and big, and I want the big 21 today. There we go. Day 21. You can see I have all my other numbers on here. I've got big 13s and all sorts of other numbers. All right, there we go. Short video today, but there's 21. If you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit like to let YouTube know you like them, and click the bell for notifications for when the next one comes out. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.